Today, we are talking about starting kids out properly with safety and communication habits for top rope climbing. Hello, I'm Jason. The life-sustaining partnership of two people sharing a climbing rope demands habitual safety practices and good communication. And as you get into alpine climbing or multi-pitch or multiple team members, those demands only get more complicated. So we've been practicing partner checks and proper communication skills, even while having the kids out on top rope. This not only helps keep our boys and those around them safe right now, but it also gives them a feeling of control over their risk and helps build towards the more sophisticated demands of those other forms of climbing without having to learn them all at once. So what are the basic safety practices and climbing commands that boys have needed to know and use? Well, it begins on the ground when it's easy to hear and look each other over. That's where the partner check happens. We are checking four systems. First, personal safety equipment. Are the harnesses on correctly? Are the straps going through the buckles as intended? Double backed in the old days, now most harnesses don't require that. Are our helmets fitted well and strapped securely? Second, the climbing knot. Is it through both hard points on the harness? Is the figure eight retrace knot tied securely with no superfluous twists and with a long enough tail? Third, is the belay device threaded correctly and on a locking carabiner that is actually locked? And fourth, is the system closed? In other words, can the rope end not accidentally slide through the belay device? This is less important on top rope if you very clearly have more than double the length of rope than it would take to go from the ground to the anchor. If you aren't sure though, you need to put a knot in the belay end. Once we verify our safety system is built correctly, it's now all about making sure that both the climber and belayer know everything that is going to happen before it happens, except maybe a fall. First, we do a call and response to ask if the belayer is ready and to announce we are going to move up the wall. On belay, climb on. As we are on the wall, we might need more slack in the rope if it's pulling us off our intended line. Okay, slack. Or we might be in a tricky section where a fall is likely, or maybe we need to rest. So we do a call and response to ask to take in any remaining slack in the rope. Take. And we certainly ask for that once we are at the top of the climb. Hey! Gotcha! Lower! Lowering! Another call and response when we are ready to go down. If the climber needs to stop on the lower for any reason. Hey! Gotcha! And then once the climber is safe and not needing the security of the system anymore, a final call and response telling everyone we can start dismantling the system. So that's the starting point. Okay, on belay. These checks and commands will be used again and again in all sorts of climbing circumstances. And so developing good communication habits can start almost as soon as we ever put our kids on a wall. On belay, climb, climb on. Thanks for coming to the end of this video. Please hit that like button to help us get this video out to more viewers. Please ring that bell and subscribe, and you can check out our website at shortguysbetaworks.com to find gear lists, all of our videos, and additional thoughts and information. Are you planning to get your kids out rock climbing, or have you done so already? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you next week, and keep on getting more out of that big outside.